Hey, this is Kristen from Drive Mode Show, and I'm here with Melissa Stockwell. Melissa is a Paralympic athlete. Did I say that right? Yes. yes. She is a talented triathlete on Team Toyota, and we're so excited to talk to her today because we want to hear all about what it's like to be on Team Toyota and about the vehicle she drives, which is a new forerunner. So, Melissa, tell us first about what it's like to be on Team Toyota and what that means for you. Yeah, so being on Team Toyota, it's, um, I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, not only do I get to be on a, the Team Toyota roster with some of the other incredible athletes and some of the best in the world, but I get to have a company like Toyota who believes in mobility, just, just like I do, kind of supporting me through, through my mobility to um, get to that highest athletic level. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of a, it was, it was such an honor to be considered to be part of the team. And now that I'm actually on it, it's just, I mean, the support isn't just racing or training day to day. It's little things like, you know, they send team Toyota puzzles and fruit baskets and just, you know, I think Toyota just goes above and beyond to let us know that, that they are really always thinking of us and want the best for us. Right. And you told me that you have a puzzle that Toyota sent you with your face on it and your kids just think that that's awesome. They do. So it's a puzzle. It has all Team Toyota athletes on it. And it's always a fight with my kids on who can find mommy's pizza the first. So there's like a leg portion and then my head portion. And if they both find one, it's like. <laughs> that's awesome. Now, Melissa, I should have told everybody up front, has a prosthetic leg. She lost her leg in Iraq. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. Okay. So tell me about, tell me about where you were when that happened and, and how old you were and just to tell people a little bit more about you. Yeah. So I was um, serving in the army. So I was um, uh, an, an army officer, a, a first lieutenant and over in um, Iraq, kind of right central Baghdad. And um, in April of 2004, April 13th of 04, I was just on a routine convoy through central Baghdad and the vehicle I was in was struck by a roadside bomb, which to make a long story pretty short, um, resulted in the loss of my left leg um, above the knee. So um, I was 24 years old. I am now 40, a proud 40 year old, but um, so yeah, it's been 15 years already. And how long have you been a Paralympian? So I competed in 2008, Beijing Paralympic Games in, in 2008, and then again in Rio in 2016 for triathlon. And the hope is to be um, competing next year in Tokyo for triathlon as well. Now, since Melissa, for our audience, lost her left leg, it means that driving is the same as it is for anyone else. You didn't have to get any adaptations for your forerunner, but I'm sure you've probably seen what Toyota's doing in lots of different ways to help people with mobility issues. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're right. So my, my specific driving, um, you know, I lost my left leg, so I can, get, I can get into the vehicle, I can drive with my right leg, just kind of like anybody else, um, anybody else would do. I do know that, it, let's say I had lost my right leg, or I, or I had other, um, you know, lower limb impairments, I, I know that um, it can be made into a vehicle that has hand control. So instead of using having my feet, to use a pedal, I can use my, my hands to do that. So to accelerate and to brake. Um, I, I know that there are, you know, some incredible um, vans that Toyota has where if I was in a wheelchair, just to be able to have the ease of getting in to, to make it as easiest as possible to get into my vehicle, whether that's some sort of ramp or being able to put, um, you know, get into the vehicle and put the, the chair in the back. So, you know, I think Toyota is a company that believes in mobility and being someone who needs that mobility on a daily basis. It's, um, it's just really apparent on um, how, how important it is to them and, and obviously to me as well. Now, Melissa, you have a Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, which is so fun for taking off road. <laughs> Tell me what you use your 4Runner for. So I live in Colorado, so um, Colorado Springs. So we, um, you know, it, whether we're going up to the mountains to go skiing or, you know, last summer we drove up to, to, to Steamboat for a triathlon and, I mean, you can't really beat that car um, up, up in the mountains and driving, you know, down those dirt roads to get to those back, you know, those little mountain lakes where you can hike around and, you know, 
windows down, the sunroof open, um, the car seats in the back with my kids. It's, I mean, not to mention it's the best looking car out there on the road. So, I mean, I love my forerunner. I, I love getting in it. I love the ease of it. Everything is so um, user friendly when it comes to the interface. And I just, I mean, I love driving my forerunner, whether it's around town or up in the mountains. Tell us what kind of music you like to listen to when you're driving, Melissa. I'm a big country fan, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, to my husband's dismay, there's always country music on. <laughs> <laughs> what does he like? Um, he, he can deal with country, but he, he, bit wide range, wide range. He sometimes just says, can we put something else on? So, uh, but yeah, he, he has a wide range of, of music. Preference. If you are picking an XM station, you're probably more likely to listen to like Y2 Country or Highway. Highway. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay. So maybe a Mud on the Tires with Brad Paisley would be your kind of song. I could love, yep, definitely. If my kids are in the car, it's more like kids bop radio, but um, that, that keeps them happy. <laughs> what do you think, like if somebody's considering a forerunner over one of the other SUVs in its class, what do you think people should know to make them maybe want to choose the forerunner over the others? Well, first you just got to look at it because it's definitely the best looking one out there. But I, you know, I think when you get into the vehicle and you just see it, it's, it's like this simple looking interface that looks, that has all kind of the bells and whistles on it. And then like, like little features, you know, like I open up my trunk and it's got this little thing that's on, um, wheels or like it slides out so I can put something into the back and um, instead of having to you know put my whole body in to get it I just kind of pull it out it slides out so I can access my groceries or my bike you know whatever it may be to get in and out of the vehicle so I think driving the different vehicles around taking a look at what one you think looks the best and I mean I would I, I don't think there's anything that even comes close to the Toyota. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm so fun what is our honor to have you on Drive Mode Show, Melissa? And I don't know what the catch is now for the, the Olympics and the Paralympic Games, but we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Bye.